it's that time of year again. Dark mornings and nights, plus lots and lots of rubbish UK weather. Luckily, there are some amazing bits of kit out there to keep you warm and dry during the winter. So today, I'm gonna to share my thoughts on the Innovate Storm Shell version two waterproof jacket. Hi everybody, I'm Guy from the Tea and Trails podcast. And before we get into the review, I do need to say that Innovate sent me the Storm Shell version two to test, but they're not paying me. They never asked me to do this review and they have not checked this video before I uploaded it to YouTube. One last bit of housekeeping before we get into the review, our good friends at Precision Fuel and Hydration have a 15% off discount code for first time users. So if you would like to crush your fuel and hydration, then watch to the end and I'll share a discount code just for you. So what does Innovate say? Designed for lightweight racing and intense training runs in wet conditions, this hooded waterproof running jacket boasts a super soft per text shield fabric for increased comfort and a full length zip that makes it quicker to put on and take off. It packs away into its own pocket, making it easy and lightweight to carry. The main material of this updated version of the jacket now contains 58% recycled content, which is awesome, and a PFC free DWR durable water repellent treatment to reduce its environmental impact. Innovate says it weighs 149 grams, but mine is a UK extra small, and on the scales, it came out with 155 grams. Yeah, that's a bit weird. My scales could be out though, so I'm not going to focus too much on that. It is quite a snug fit. I'm an extra small, another Innovate tops, but this feels a little snug around the chest and the armpits. The arms and general length of the jacket are fine. That is not a problem, but yeah, just a little snug around those pants. Pectorials. It is fine though, I can get a small insulated jacket underneath for those cooler days, but I think, yeah, if I was gonna order this again, then I would go for a small. It's gonna set you back 160 pounds currently over at innovate.com. It is a lot of money, simple as that. 160 pounds is a lot of money, but it's no more than other similar products that I've seen out there. Also, I've seen waterproof jackets a lot cheaper and a lot more expensive. I'm not here to tell you to spend loads of money on a brand new waterproof jacket, but if you think there is a chance of extended periods of time in bad weather, then please, 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 for your own safety, think long and hard about your waterproof jacket choice. Also, maybe your current jacket just needs re-waterproofing. I'll pop an Amazon affiliate link in the description to Nick Wax. I use this before the Lickle 100 just to give my waterproof jacket a little bit of TLC before the big day. I'm not sponsored by Nick Wax. I'm not supported by them in any way. I've just used their product in the past. If you do want to save a few quid though, you can purchase this from sportshoes.com and the Centurion running store, it is a bit cheaper over there, and Patreons receive discount too, so check that out. I'll include all the links in the description below. I will say though, that sportshoes.com and Centurion running store might not carry the full range of sizes, so like me, if you want an extra small, you're probably gonna to have to check out innovate.com. Okay, the material, it's a 58% polyamide and a 42% polyamide with a PU membrane. It's got a bit of give to it, but it's definitely not like a stretchy lycra. It's also a bit softer than a regular shell, so it does feel comfortable to wear. Moving on to the all important waterproofing. It's got a PFC free DWR super soft Pertex shield, which is basically a 2.5 layer waterproof fabric with 20,000 HH, or it's called hydrostatic head and tape scenes. Now this is super important. Taped scenes are a essential when it comes to passing kit check UK races. Also, racers only usually ask for 10,000 HH, so this whopping 20,000 should sail through. Also, which is more important, it should keep the rain out for longer. So, how does it perform? Well, I've run in this jacket loads, you know, in all kinds of weather, but in typical form, when I come to do a review, we have blue skies, and blue skies are forecast all week. So what would any self-respecting YouTube reviewer do? They'll head out to the back garden and stand under a garden hose for five minutes to show you guys how it performs. So bear with me, I'll be back. Okay. 
Oh my goodness me, that was freezing. And fair enough, call me out, it's not a perfect test, but it does help visualize things. And as you can see, my t-shirt is dry. And also, even though it looks like the material has completely wetted out in places, it is dry to the touch. To my knowledge, all jackets are only water resistant, unless it's made from rubber, for example. So I do expect water to get in eventually. But like I say, I've run with this for two, September, October, two months now, and I've been really happy with the results. The next most important thing for me is breathability. The Storm Shell Jacket version 2 boasts a breathability level of 20,000 B-1. I'm not really sure what the B-1 mean, but I do suspect the larger that first number, the better. It's so hard to be water resistant and breathable at the same time. Also, changeable weather doesn't help. I've been doing most of my morning runs during September and October in this jacket, and the breathability has been fine. If you feel the temperature rising, then I'll just unzip the front a little bit and then use this little popper system. It allows some air to pass in, but still keeps the jacket integrity. Really simple, super handy, and so far breathability has not been a problem. But if you want to look at a jacket with a higher spec, then maybe check out the Innovate Race Shell Pro Full Zip. You're looking at a whopping 70,000 B1 rating for that jacket. I'd be really curious how they stack up against each other. So if you have that jacket or a jacket with a similar spec, then please let me know how breathable it is in the comments below. So waterproofing and breathability are the main things that I look for in a jacket like this, and it's done a decent job on both fronts, but the jacket has some other features too. First off, a handy front pocket, and the Storm Shell version two jacket can be packed away into this pocket. I love a stuffed pocket. It keeps everything super neat and tidy. Next up for me are these little reflective prints, super handy at night. These show up really well when a car light, a cyclist, or a head torch hits them. If I'm being picky, I would prefer a few more just to keep you covered at all bases. You know, you might be just facing away from somebody and they don't quite catch you. But yeah, like I say, being super picky about that. I really like this elastic adjustment for the hood. You get a great range of movement and this multiple peak is super handy too. But I tend to wear a cap under my hood. I just think it keeps the rain out of my eyes and my face and it just keeps everything in place. These thumb loops are good. Now personally, I don't use these. I prefer to keep my watch visible for navigation, for time or something like that. But you might use these thumb loops. So to have that option is awesome. Also, you can pull the sleeves over your knuckles a bit and that just gives a little bit more protection if you're feeling chilly. And last but not least, this little bit of material behind the zip slows down direct rain from getting through the zip mechanism. I have to say, I really like this jacket. It's got very good water resistance and breathability. It feels good and I have to say it looks pretty good too. It's a decent extra layer when that temperature drops and at this time of year I'll be taking it on most of my runs. I only have a couple of negatives and one of those is on me. You know because of historical purchases I thought this jacket should be an extra small for me and on reflection I should have ordered a small but I could have gone to a shop, I could have tried them on and then I would have known immediately that small was my size. So yeah hands up I'll take responsibility for that one. The next one is though I just wish it had a few more of these reflective safety logos anything to keep you safe at night other than that really for 160 pounds i am perfectly happy with this jacket i'll take it on my morning commutes my weekend long runs i'll pack it in my kit bag for races that i do yeah not a problem at all with this jacket i really like it i'll pop a link to innovate.com in the description and to our patreon page too loads of amazing discount codes are available over there all for the price of a cup of coffee thanks for watching and if you like this video then please like share subscribe and check out the tea and trails podcast before i forget if you would like to try precision fuel and hydration then use the code all caps 
T and Trails 15 to receive 15% 15 off your first order. Give it a go. I've used it loads. It's a great product. Now, my name is Gary Thwaites, and that was my thoughts on the Innovate Storm Shell version two waterproof running jacket. You take care. Thanks for watching.